what's going on, Republican brothers and sisters? Big Dick, Dickhead, your Republican big boss man. I want to talk to you about something near and dear to the heart of every Republican. I want to talk to you about our Second Amendment and the right to bear arms. And I ain't talking the right to wear tank tops. I'm talking about the right to own weapons. That's right. The right to own as many damn guns as we want. Automatics, semi-automatics, shotguns, sawed-off shotguns. To carry them, to even conceal them. Firearms of all types. I don't care if it's a fire, what firearm it is. We Americans are entitled to own it. Now I hear about this smuggling about firearms into Mexico, landing in the hands of drug cartels. Well, all I can say is I'm a Reaganomics, supply and demand kind of guy. If the demand is there, we gun shop owners got a right to sell our firearms to anybody who's got a legal identification and the cash you owe to purchase it. And they clear that 72 hour waiting period, they come and get their guns. What they do after they buy their guns is none of our business. We can't be regulating the sale of firearms or anything else. What's the government going to regulate next? The sale of chewing tobacco because too many people are spitting? What are they going to do? Regulate the amount of spit people spit out from chewing tobacco? Well, tough titty. I love my chewing tobacco. Well, they ain't stopping the flow of drugs into Mexico. They ain't stopping the drug war. Truth be known, they ain't interested in stopping the drug war. There's too much business in homeland security contracts. It employs too many Americans. And in the rehab industry, the drug testing industry, all kinds of industry is supported by the drug war. Once the drug, once them guns get down in Mexico, why well, it's Mexico's problem that in it. We made our money. America's got a history of making the finest, the most utmost top provider of firearms and weapons and mass killings known around the world. That's the way it's been and that's the way it's going to be. If it's a good killing machine, you look at that weapon and it's made in America. What, are we going to give all that business to China or Taiwan or North Korea? I don't think so. I say we got the right to bear arms, but mostly we got the right to sell arms. You go, Mitt Romney, our new president-elect. I love his name, Mitt, M-I-T. Sounds like an acronym, M millionaire, and intent on being a trillionaire. <laughs> I'm Dickhead, your Republican big boss man. In fact, you ain't even rich enough to be a Republican.